Agents are engaged with other calls. Please April stay on the line 4th, and your call will be answered sooner than if you here on this disconnection notice, you see it's like threatening it basically right away, and it's for the same dollar amount. Or hey, you're calling BB Hydro. My name is Brian. I'd like to start with your account number, please. Yeah, the account number. Your first and last name, please. Thank you, Adam. And your date of birth, Social Security, please. Thank you very much. Hold on, please, Adam. I'm just pulling up the account. Okay, yeah, um, actually, there's a number of issues that I have with your company because uh, you're committing billing fraud, and I'd like to bring those up, uh, starting with invoice number 113-007-181146. And what can I do for you? Okay, well, on that invoice, uh, there's a, a, a number of charges here from uh, prior to the smart meter program where you were only estimating my power consumption and I was overbilled because my power consumption was being reduced. Um, there's a number of credits there uh, relating to that, however, um, I was charged interest and late payment fees on those uh, uh, overbillings and uh, I was not refunded those fees. So that's my first problem that I have. My second problem is um, I've been told uh, two different uh, replies in relation to the legacy meter fees. Um, one of the uh, one of the replies is that it. Uh, well, let's, is... let's take one thing at a time here, okay? Okay. Uh, we're going to start with late payment charges, okay? Um, although that your invoices were actually in fact uh, readjusted, okay, the late payment charges apply to the invoices that were delivered and that were paid late on. Yeah, that's so, fine, but you cannot charge interest on money that's not owed. So I expect we, we a refund. Can. No, you, you can't. Uh, Excuse me, you're saying that and you're saying that. Okay, sir, I'm recording this and I'm going to post I, it on I, YouTube. I, I understand. Yeah, and now, you can charge you interest on money that's not owed and you don't have to refund it. We, is that what you're saying? Well, we, what I'm saying sir, is that's billing time, fraud. At the time, the invoices were sent to you. They had billing dates and due dates on them. For an amount so that was overbilled. Okay. For an amount now, that was you overbilled. Want me to talk, I will. If you, want to, if you don't want to listen to me, I won't talk and you can call back some other time. Okay, keep okay. going. Now, the invoices were sent to you, and those invoices were dated, and they had they had actual pay by dates on those invoices. If the invoices were not paid by those dates, then late payment charges are applied to the invoices. Now, in regards to an invoice that is actually in the future readjusted because it's been found that there was a miscalculation, those still those late payment charges do in fact apply because at the time of the invoice... No, they apply, issued, sir, again, sir, I'm let me advise finish. you of the law, those late charges uh, only apply to the amount that was actually owed. You okay, cannot charge I'm late like charges on money that... With you, okay, don't want to hear the whole story. that's in the one issue. The legacy meter fee, what it is, is the legacy meter fee is a fee that we are charging for the infrastructure that is being put in place to afford people to have a, their choice of an old operating system. The legacy meter fee is to pay for the infrastructure that had to be put in place to allow people to make a choice to keep an old meter. They said, but no way, shape, or form has anything to do with us coming to your property and reading your meter. Okay, sir, one question here. When was that infrastructure never in place? The infrastructure was not in place because it's, the infrastructure is repeaters and range extenders. It was never used until the new uh, program was put into place in regards to the smart metering program, sir. Okay, and uh, the, so uh, in regards to that, as soon as now, the smart meters came out, meter program, as soon as the I would like to change to the smart meter professionals and specialists, and they can describe that to you in greater detail. Okay, but I'm here in customer care. We do not, nor are we trained to answer your questions in regards to that particular program. Okay, other than okay. other than it is the meter, the legacy meter charges are in fact in regards to infrastructure. Okay, now may I pull your attention to that same invoice, invoice number 113007181, yeah, okay. Um, it says pay by April 4th. Now, um, I have a disconnection notice uh, for March 18th. Pay by April 4th, but disconnection notice for March 18th. Just one moment, I'm taking a look at the disconnection notice, yeah? 
Yep. The invoice that you're uh, you're calling in regards to the most recent invoice is actually, in fact, the invoice that is the outstanding invoice. The outstanding invoice is the invoice that is actually a later date. It is due. It is dated as a 19th day of March. That is the most recent invoice. That is the invoice that we are actually going to be uh, working on collecting. Okay, but I owe the money on April 4th, so uh, if you disconnect me before April 4th, um, I will file a lawsuit.